Well, I welcome the health hunter himself to the show, Dr. Cass Ingram, as we are talking about the benefits of wild oregano oil. For Doctor, it's great to have you on the show. It's just a pleasure to be back, yes. Well, I understand that with wild oregano oil, you are the doctor <laughs> that basically made this a nationwide, if not a worldwide, popular herb. That's for sure. Even when I went to the original source, for example, the mountains of Turkey in the Middle East, they said to me, why are you talking about oregano oil? We hardly ever use it, even though it's from our area and it's historical. We use it for cuts and abrasions and the occasional cold. So everybody that knows anything about oregano oil now started with me and especially with the book, The Cure is in the Cupboard. And so I thought, since I'm writing a new book on the wild oregano, we should talk about it. And that includes the FDA, which has done some research thanks to our work. That includes the USDA, which has patented a biofilm with oregano based for, uh, for food poisoning prevention. And that includes the plethora of research, the thousands of articles. All of it started when I started discussing the power of oil of oregano for your health. Right, exactly. So, so is this... The wild oregano that you talk about, is there a particular form of wild oregano? Because there are multiple species. There is uh, an issue. The wild oregano I'm talking about is from the genetic source. So this is going to be from the mountains of the deep Mediterranean where it exists natively, where the gene pool of the plant originated. And <clears throat> that wild oregano has a certain profile of, say, carbocrol between 60 and 77 percent, something to that effect. Uh, where there's a certain chemistry that you can do a gas chromatography on that wild oregano from that region and it always scores real nice. That's an edible oregano. One could use it daily. You can look at the profile. Because if it's from other areas, we saw, found that the profile was not edible and was not ideal. Those profiles from more distant areas like Morocco, France, all of pretty much all of North Africa, Mexico also produces oregano oil. The profile is not edible, not daily use, uh, because usually it has too high of a thymol level. Thymol is an irritant to the liver. In oregano, it's mainly carbocrop plus terpenes, different things, but the oregano is non-irritating. So the one that we're talking about today, the wild oregano oil that is in your book, and I noticed that the title says 101 uses. Yeah, I know. So let's go through some of these uses for wild oregano. So what from your research and studies have you seen on how to use this medicinally? On the basis of using an edible wild oregano from food, from the actual wild spice. So it's still the spice. It's still a food. So keep in mind, listeners, that we're still dealing with food. So when I say 101 uses, I mean that you can use it, but not be concerned and worried about, oh, is it going to interact with my this, or can I take it with that, and how long can I take it? Can I really take it every day? Could it hurt me? Just stop for a minute, okay? So the food spice wild oregano, either as the oil of oregano, the juice essence, or the crude herb in a capsule, I talk about in the book, 101 plus uses. And so, yes, it's extremely good for the respiratory system. It's the best. Mm. It's the king of all respiratory herbs. You cannot compare it to anything. Mm. I don't care what you're taking. If you're taking echinacea and elderberry and golden seal, if you're taking you know, something for bronchial, it doesn't matter. It cannot compare to the wild oregano oil. It's a, it's a hammer. Really? And we've, I've done this. Uh, the one st study I did in antiviral research demonstrating that when you infect the embryonic cells or chicken embryonic cultured cells with cold viruses, with flu viruses, and then you give the wild oregano oil, it obliterates the viruses. They're toast in 20 minutes. If you keep a little bit of the oil of oregano in the culture medium, the, the virus can't regrow. Now, I'm not trying to make a claim about a specific disease, but I'm just telling you the letter of the research. So, wild oregano oil is a very potent antibacterial, antiviral, even antifungal Antifungal, antimycotic, or anti-yeast, antifungal, uh, somewhat of an antiparasitic for like amoeba and, and cryptosporidium and giardia, but primarily antiviral, antifungal, anti-mold, antibacterial. That's enough. Antihistaminic, too anti tussive anti-cough. So what tremendous properties that is for the lungs, lung and bronchial system and the sinus system. So 
So the 101 uses, there's a big section on respiratory, obviously, mm. to support the respiratory health for the lungs, for the bronchial tract, for the deep parts of the lungs, for the sinus cavity, whatever. You name it, it's going to be supportive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, I want to thank you for coming on. And ladies and gentlemen, you've got to buy Dr. Ingram's brand new book. And this is actually the doctor's guide to wild oregano oil, 101 uses. You've heard him talk about this today, the benefits of wild oregano. You've got to take advantage. Learn more about this amazing herb. And like he said, it's the strongest, most potent herb available for immune system, respiratory health, and the list goes on. You've heard what he's had to say today. So I want to thank you, doctor, for coming on to the show. My Again, pleasure. we've had the one and the only, the health hunter himself, Dr. Cass Ingram. Thank you for watching.